Hello, I'm uh, Sean Smith. How you doing? Just going to do a brief demonstration of some painting techniques. Uh, we're going to be using acrylic paints for this process. So, uh, very easy colors to use. And uh, I'm just going to start off with a fan brush. You know, get some color out. So, I'm going to start with I'm going to start with some white. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is that when I apply the uh, second color, third color, for the sky, I'll get more of a tonal range. You also water down coats quite nicely, and if you water them down, they almost get like a watercolor consistency for sure. So, okay, so I'm going to put some nice deep yellow here. Red. My palette as well. And I'm going to start by whitening up the yellow a little bit so it can make it a little bit lighter than what it is. Now with colors you don't want to really apply or mix together more than three colors because if you do it'll get kind of muddy. You want your colors to stay crisp and clean. Looks the best that way. Probably wondering why I'm filming in my kitchen, but that's just because of the fact that this is the best place for lighting in my apartment. See, so, you know, I was just brushing it out back and forth, just trying to establish some tones. I want to want the background a little bit lighter than the foreground or the middle ground. As you can see there's a bit of a shadow cast on there. This is only my second time filming, so please be patient. Uh, as you probably figured out already, it'll get better the more times I do this. Um, I did film one video a little while ago, and it really didn't work out too well. So, basically why I'm coating the whole canvas with yellow and white is because I want the sky to be white, or yellow. And uh, I'm also adding water. So basically, your sky and water are roughly the same color depending on how much reflection you're getting. But I'm just starting off and doing that right away. Just to establish the tonal range. Kinda sucks though. One of the reasons why I can't really use the footage that I shot before was because there's copyright laws now. And I'm afraid that some of the music I've been listening to the artist may not want to be on my video, so I'm just uh, listening to my MP3 player. I need music to work, as I'm sure as you guys do too. But as you can see, the sky is kind of taking form. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some red. So this is going to be kind of a sunset type sky. I'm going to brush it like this, just a diagonal. This will come into play later on too. Because well, see how I'm doing that right now? Well, I'm going to brush that out too. See, it's a very moody, moody sky. It's because I'm using some really bright colors. Like my uh, 
the oranges and blues and stuff like that. Just brush it out. See how the tones increase? That's why with you when you're when you're mixing colors, you, you want to uh, keep little ribbons of color in the in the uh, in the mix that you're, the color that you're mixing. That gives you a greater tonal range. And as you can see, I've already uh, started to establish where the sky is. Pure white, titanium. Should I indicate? Let's see. As you can see, I'm doing some clouds. Just a light indication. Something to make the painting a little more attractive. Well, clouds really aren't my best. But as you can see, they're not that hard to do. I think the best way I look at it is uh, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. See, I'm not sure exactly where my what. Ashley, that's my little kitty. My midnight crazies. So as you can see, I got some colors together. My little one wants to get outside. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit more red, make a little, just a touch of yellow. I'm going to go in here. Just going to indicate to land. So that in the background is my little kitty, Ashley, or Ashes, as I call her, who has her midnight crazies. Stop it. I'm going to really water this down. I want a pink. Okay, and that's enough for this episode. I will be doing more in a little while.